What is up, everybody? Welcome for the first time. We're back to another DLJ Works video. And the title that you see on your screen is not incorrect. It's not a lie. It's no cap. $2,000 websites as a website manager for clients. In the past, I made a video in terms of how to have an illustrious career as a website manager that was based on actual employment. But let's say you're in a position where you don't want to be employed by somebody. You want to be contracted. You want to go at this on your own. You want to be a, a free agent. All right. I want to be an indie contractor, freelancer. And I wanted to actually show you because I still do websites, not many because I'm more focused on the content side, but I still take on a project here and there to keep my skills sharp. But uh, I really try not to go below this number right here, uh, too, especially with the time of inflation and everything else. But I thought I'd share this experience and kind of break down some principles in terms of how you can easily make $2,000 per client uh, managing websites and simple things. And I'm going to be honest with you. You do not have to have much knowledge in coding. The only thing that I, I would say that this would be a no code little tutorial, but um, at, at its core, you need to at least understand some basic fundamentals of HTML and CSS. All right. And just in case there's some tweaking, there's some behind the under the hood uh, fixing that you actually need to do. We actually need to make adjustments. You need to go in within the developer tools. You need to uh, tap into the, the coding side and you need to just make some simple adjustments, some tweaking to the styles or whatnot based on the client's whatever weird request. You, you need to have some fundamental understanding in terms of the syntax, the, the setup, the naming conventions, all those things with HTML and CSS. I'm telling you, it's going to help you out in the long run. But even without that knowledge, you can still do this as a full-time website manager. But I will encourage you to at least learn those concepts of HTML and CSS. All right. Now, without that, though, let's set that for aside for a second. You need to learn how to configure um, the website because this is all based on this is just based on you earning this two thousand dollars is only based on you setting up the website all right i'm going to show you some slides here in a second uh how that's constituted we'll talk about the content creation side here in a second uh you want to be able to move fast enough to where you can chunk out these websites within a month or even a quicker amount of time all right i have a family i have other obligations usually doing a one little project right now it's going to take me a good three months i'm going to just be very honest with you but if you're just somebody that you know has your your stuff together and you can actually crank these out within a short amount of time you could probably make some pretty good bank if you can knock out a, if you can actually build a website and get this done for the client based on what i'm going to show you within a week you could probably make some serious bank for you for yourself uh within a short amount of time but i'm also going to go over some contractual things so you know, that way you're protected and that you can actually get your money. All right. You don't need to be an advanced coder. I already talked about the HTML and CSS. You can also make extra money too, because what you're working off of, you're charging for convenience. That's what this is. That's why being a website manager today is not, it's, it's an easy field for, in my opinion, to actually get into because you're looking to work for convenience. You're not trying to sit up here and flaunt your coding knowledge or uh, sit up here and express your technical know-how and <laughs> wear a big W on your chest for super web designer or developer. That's not what this is. You're going to find people who do not have time to set this up and do this themselves. And you're going to take your basic understanding of content management and website configuration to knock this out for them at a very reasonable price. Market value for websites are actually man i think if you're not by yourself and you're with an agency you're going to be paying like you know no less than probably five to six thousand dollars so two thousand dollars for a person is, is going to be reasonable but if they're trying to trash you you don't need to even work with them let them learn create some content let them like learn this on their own there's just plenty of content and courses they could take out there but this is what you're doing you're basically going to be charging for convenience this is why i say this is something that anybody can do all right if they take the time to learn the skills necessary. So here's the skills that you actually need. Skills needed. Setting up user backend, content uploads, customer service, tech support. You have to be able to understand the lingual when it comes to some of the jargon like um, A, Hrefs, uh, C panel. When you're going, actually going into the C, I mean the, the C panel and there needs to be some sort of like domain exchange or whatnot. You need to understand what, what what's the, the A Reference means the www, all the, all those other things on the back end, all right? If you're using something like, you know, 
GoDaddy or whatever the case may be. Uh, so you can at least talk to tech support on behalf of the customer. You don't you don't have to actually be the one to configure these things, but you need to be able to communicate with tech support the problem that's going on that is uh, higher within Bluehost, GoDaddy, or whatever hosting company that you're going to be working with. All right, so we talked about charging for convenience. So you want to know the fundamentals of content management systems. So before we go into that second slide, one of the two things I wanted to show you here was that I have two examples. All right, right now I'm on a demo back end of you screen where I'm showing people. All right, I'm on the demo back end of you screen where the, the, right now I, I'm just setting up. This is basic what you would do if I was to take on a you screen client, I would be uploading content for them i would be managing the content the videos this is a demo account that you screen was so kindly to um actually let me see here let's let's try the new editor okay they changed some things all right cool um that you screen was actually a kind enough to let me actually have in order to showcase their product to people on my youtube channel and stuff but when i'm actually doing things for clients this this is the side that i need to know all right. <laughs> this is what I need to understand and be able to set up for them and how this would look, how this would come up on the front end, the storefront end, which is right here. So when I upload a video and I'm putting in the descriptions and the collections, do I understand how all of this works? So you, if you have a fundamental understanding of content management, you can take that expertise and then learn other different platforms to basically be able to know what you need to go in and set up and change for that website so if i'm working with uh video streaming platform creators this goes with vimeo tt as well i know how to go in and, and set up collections uh any extras any any documentations that need to go up in here uh live streaming you can't really do unless you actually get money to you know get another um get an upgrade for that all right if you're trying to add if you're trying to sit up here and add people to you screen all right, you're trying to sit up here and add community members. That's something that can happen. So, so I know all of this, this the lingo for you screen because I worked with it for the past like two to three years right now. So this is what I'm talking about. You can pick one content. You can actually just pick one content system and just go ahead and dive deep on that and just work with that with people who are trying to set up their you screen accounts and set them up for a very affordable rate. And you could try to aim at smaller creators. That that's not a problem at all. Now, I wanted to show you my back end WordPress website. All right. Um, this is my personal WordPress website, but also the same thing. Content management system. You need to understand how WordPress works. Uh, how do you add a page? What's the difference between what what, what are some of the plugins you're supposed to use? All right. Uh, without I'm, I'm mentioning all this without you knowing any code because just learning and understanding the platform configuration is enough. For you to go in and be able to, to have a business, for you to be able to charge people and say, I can set this up for you for this price and this is what goes into this. How does the hosting work? How do I get my domain name connected to this website? Who should I be hosted with? These are questions and things that you can go into and have a very good career, a very good freelance career, I should say, an indie career, just learning how to market yourself, learning some business practices. Um, if you want to bring on some other people to help you manage websites and to set these up for people, that'll be fine as well. This is not building a website from scratch. You're not sitting up here writing PHP code or nothing else. You will be taking a standard thing for somebody, see what their needs are, and you will use some basic understanding of CSS and HTML, primarily CSS, though, to change the redesign of what the customer is actually looking for. So with WordPress, you do have to have a more of a fundamental understanding of CSS in order to make these changes, but you want to pick a platform. Let's say, for example, you want to be a, you can call yourself a Wix configure, configurator, if that's a word, a square page space for configurator. If you're looking for somebody to build a website, you can be that person who dives deep to set up these platforms to people and charge a good rate because what you're doing is you're charging for convenience. Now, I'm going to go into this next slide here because i want to stress this out that uh you'll have clients you'll have people that would expect you know well, well can you do can you uh create use photoshop to recreate this image or can you do such and such with this piece of content or you know can you write this for me they'll they'll do that and think that goes into the website development process and it doesn't all right it's very 
you have to be able to express clearly to people, to prospects, potential prospects that, hey, when I work on this website, this is all that I'm working on. You are responsible for providing the stock images, text, photos, and any other media that you want to go onto the website. If you want me to create, edit, or do anything else, that's going to be a whole separate charge. The $2,000 is just for website configuration. I want to stress that to you. This is for you setting up the hosting, the metadata, um, making sure that the security is intact. And this isn't requiring you to go in and, and write code or anything to make sure that the website is secure. It's being able to understand the HTTPS, the, the secure domain. Um, if they, if you know how to get them connected with a third party like SiteLock or WP, uh, which I have right here. Uh, let me see if I go to my plugins. All right, install plugins. All right. And there's some of these I need to update, but WP Force SSL. So you have to be mindful of these things, that these things need to be added in order for your website to run as optimally as possible. So let me go back here. Uh, one of the things I didn't write on here was a retainer fee, because not only with the $2,000, but you can also ask for a retainer fee, because if you're dealing with somebody that is trying to focus, they, they're trying to run a business, especially an e-commerce store, uh, which is what I'm currently working with somebody right now. If you're trying to actually run, if they're trying to run an e-commerce store, they're going to be focused on the business aspect. This is where I come in at. So at some point when we get done, we get done with the agree initial agreement of the basics of the website, then we need to have another discussion and conversation in terms of what further work do you want me to do now to keep me on retainer? And this is going to be the monthly cost in order for me to do this. And you can decide if it's going to be unlimited request or, um, you know, you get 10 requests per month based on this price. So those are things that you need to negotiate and kind of think about when you're actually trying to, um, when you're actually trying to set this up. So, Six things that I say go into a website configuration and setup hosting, knowing where the metadata is, is when you're putting in products and, and for search engine purposes, because your clients aren't going to know that. So you need to understand how that actually works. Website security, how you could connect that for them. Theme configuration, you know, setting up and making sure that um, you can maybe get some stock images to kind of understand how do you upload products if you're doing an e-commerce website or you're trying to. Uh, make the blog and, and design that for what, what does the client want their visitors to see when they first or you know, arrive on a page? Uh, how many pages? My maximum, I minimum I do is two, maximum is four. You know, that's even for e-commerce websites as well. And the products, uploading products. If you was using WordPress, you would use WooCommerce, which is why I've used in the past. I'm, I'm starting to use Shopify right now. So these are things that I'm also learning. So a two thousand dollar setup to set this up you may want to even charge more but i think two thousand dollars is a sweet spot that will get your clients to be able to say huh that's reasonable i can afford it or they'll just sit up here and say i'll just do it on my own all right you don't want to come off as desperate like you just need somebody's money stick to this and stand your ground all right uh here i actually have a proposal all right Proposal for services is not a contract. It's just to give people information, even offer payment options. So you want to have something in writing and you want to express and then you do this for yourself as well. So you know what you're going to work on and what you're comfortable with doing before you sit up here and agree with, yeah, I'll just do the website for you. And then your clients come with all these crazy requests and these expectations. And it's like, oh, well, well I can't do that right now. And the client's mad. So you need to be very clear. I'm telling you from experience and the mistakes that I've made in terms of working with people and the L's, the L's that I've had to take over the years when it comes to this freelancing spot. All right. I've had to take quite a few L's because I just didn't know what I was doing. But once I actually learned contract writing and setting this up, I knew exactly what I am asking for and what to be clear with the client. There's going to be some other things, too, to come up with the website. Some one of the things I didn't write on here, um, I think it was the retainer. I don't think I wrote the retainer down in terms of this and the request and how that's going to work. But but there there are going to be things that's going to come up. Oh, I know what it is. People, when you do something. People are always not going to know what they want. <laughs> a lot of people, when they come to you, they're not going to know what they want. They're going to be sending you, ask them like, well, do you want this? It's like, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Then you do something 
And then it triggers their brain. And it's like, oh, okay, I see what that is. Yeah, I don't want that. Can we do it like this instead? That is going to guarantee going to happen every single time. And you have to be mindful of that. You have to watch out for it. All right. So learn contract writing. I'll link, leave a link to where you can actually, um, let me see here. That's not it. I'll leave a link up to a blank contract that I leave available on the internet that you can freely make a copy of so you can adjust it as needed. So you can actually see what goes into it. But um, in terms of the details I put into the website contract, some people may not think this is simple enough, but you need to, it needs to be detailed. This needs to be a legal binding business contract. All right. And you need to be expressive in it as, as much as possible. So I will leave a link in the description where you can make a copy free of charge, no charge to you in terms of doing that. Cause that's going to save your hide. Now website content creation. This is a totally separate price. So if you have any other skills like Adobe Illustrator, you know how to do vector images virtual art photoshopping you know how to do image editing uh maybe you have some photography skills you know how to make little animations all right y using certain online tools video editing i think i've said that already when i say website content we're, we're talking about just you writing you know blog post or uh maybe you have a writing skill and you're you're offering that that is a service and everything to contribute blogs to their website or whatnot they're asking for like social media and what well, can you plug this into like twitter and blah, 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 blah. that needs to be things that they need to do for themselves but if they're going to like if they really don't have the time this is another opportunity for you to tack on more service charges and you can charge for each one individually based on what your strengths are all right so if they want to add videos to their site but they don't they want to make their own custom videos but they want you to do that and expect and think that comes in a web designers or developers packet you need to cancel that noise you need to let them know that's going to be a separate charge and that's totally separate from what i do right here in these six things all right and you can add more you can make adjustments to this and, and kind of figure out what's in your wheelhouse to just sit up here and do but i wanted to make it clear that there's a difference between configuring and setting up a website and then providing the content like doing logos and everything else i didn't put logo design on here i probably should have but i think you get the point so that's what we need to that needs to be established in terms of you doing your website management so uh, let me actually show you this too this is more in detail of what i was talking about this is probably it's probably going to be too small so i'm actually turn up the view here a little bit okay so so here we got for works for con that constitute an asking price when it comes to content creation. Um, so CSS design customizations. Uh, well, actually, let's ignore that. That still goes into any coding aspects. That's additional things. Custom graphics and thumbnails. All right. Um, for their products on e-commerce, if they want something they don't have and they want something to just pop, that's going. Those are additional things because that takes away from the actual website configuration and everything else. So uh, custom written text for clients, uh, video content. If they're if that's required, uh, cure content creation for marketing purposes, any other requests outside of the above configuration, that's what's going to require an additional cost at the time. All right. So uh, let me see here. And yeah, I think that is going to be it. So if you want to make a I want to make this video as short as I possibly can within a little tutorial that I wanted to do. But if you're looking to find a way to make money online and you want to get into this space but the coding aspect is hard this is a good opportunity for you to step in and try to learn how to actually just do certain things because they're right now we're in a time where people are actually looking for online opportunities in terms of how can they start a business how do i start our e-commerce e website what do i need to do for my for my website and everything else and you can just configure you can be a, a website manager a configure a configurator where you're not no one needing to know code, but you're picking a platform. You let them know, hey, I work with WordPress websites. This is how I know what plugins are needed to make it run optimally. I can configure uh, themes. I can set this up for you within one week's time. No, no problem at all. Yeah, you need to provide the images and the text, but I provide dummy text and everything else. Uh, I'm just going to configure and make sure that your site is uh, basically set up and ready for launch ready to be published and be active online 
that's what this this tutorial is all about all right i just was excited because i want to make sure that people have the information or educated that if you're having a hard time and you don't know what to do and you don't really want to know code or anything like that this is a perfect opportunity i would also recommend that you check out my video in terms of how to have a career as a website manager that i even give you more background information um and adjacent to this video so make sure i'm pointing so click <laughs> wherever that video is going to be click right there and begin to watch that now and i'll see you in the next one